hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic, you know what it is. Ravens versus Steelers reaction. Look. I'm <laughs> watching this game. I am so happy. I'm actually elated, right, that I did not live stream this game. Not only was it, I mean, absolutely putrid, agonizing, excessively long, drawn out, but the play of Tyler Huntley and the numerous fumbles made this game darn near unwatchable. Look. I feel bad, before we even start this up, shout out to um, Nelson Aguilar, right? He had an escalator in his contract. If he got 68 more yards, right? It would be like 150,000, 250,000, something along those lines. The man got 39 yards to close out the season. He couldn't even get to 68. And there was times where he was wide open. Wide open in the middle of the field. Sitting there looking at Tyler Huntley like, boo don't you see me? boo can't you look? boo and I'm like, bro, why is he not throwing to the middle of the field? He refused. He's like, nah, I'm not throwing there, bro. I'm not throwing there, bro. I'm going everywhere else, bro. I'm not throwing it there. And I'm just, I, I'll say this also. For all the Raven fans last season that was so locked in on Tyler Huntley being the starter over Lamar. Being able to move off Lamar and go to Huntley in the long term. Saying that he was a better passer than Lamar. This is literally for you. Oh! You need it all. Straight across the screen slap. How, how slow do you feel right now? You must be sitting in your tub, sitting down with that water, uh, um, with that water up to your neck, slowly sinking down, just being like, oh. because it, bro, like to be that wrong. This offense, this team looks totally different without the MVP there, huh? Ah, ah, bro. Listen, man, <laughs> I'm just mad that the Steelers swept us this year. <laughs> like, look, I get it. I picked, listen, my original picks, and I said this in the last video, my original picks was three teams making the playoffs from the NFC North, the AFC North, I'm sorry. And that was Baltimore at one, Browns at two, Steelers at three, Bengals miss. Go back to my videos. You can check it. I said it multiple times. So this is literally lining up to exactly what I thought it was going to be. And I said the Browns would get 12 games. That's crazy, right? <laughs> I know, I know. But I wanted to beat the Steelers. I would have rather have been wrong than having the Steelers sweep us in the season. That's how that's how mad I am with this. Because you know, guys, I like to be correct. But with watching this game come down, and I'm saying, bro, every drive that we had to take the lead, Huntley can't throw, or we're fumbling away the ball. I was just looking at it, and then Gus Edwards having back-to-back -back weeks with fumbles. And then um, Melvin Gordon showing his one of his biggest problems, fumbling again in this game. And I'm like, bro, this is exactly why we got Dalvin Cook. You know what I mean? This is exactly why I wanted a little more diversity in the running back room. And there were and there were um Raven fans telling me I was crazy about that too. Do you still disagree? Please let me know. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. Let me know. This game was boring. This game was so hard to watch. I mean, I love a good defensive battle and stuff like that, but this game was absolutely like tiresome. Like, I was sitting there like this. Another fumble. Another another bad pass. Oh, look, the, the, the line gave up another sack. <laughs> like, it was so hard to watch. And like I said before, you know, I feel bad for people like Nelson Aguilar. He didn't get his escalators in his contract. You know who did, though? You know who did? Clowny did. Oh! That boy got his. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. He got that big 700, what was it, 750,000 escalator in his contract. Oh, yeah, he got, he was dancing on it. He was like, uh, oh, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. And you mad, and you see that he want it. And you like it when you see my thing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what he was doing on the field. Somebody go look at the, um, <laughs> go look at the video. That's what he was doing on the field. He was doing the Beyonce. He was like, uh, 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 u
bro. Listen, bro. I, man, listen, man. This man Tyler Huntley forgot his helmet on. <laughs> he forgot his helmet. Like he for, he lost his helmet. That's how I knew we were gonna lose. When the second half started, I'm like, we could probably win this. When that man couldn't find his helmet, I was like, oh yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toasty. It, it's over. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, it's over, over. I was like, yeah. I'm like, bro, how could you be? Like, think about it. It's, he's, the way Tyler Huntley was performing today was like that was his first start ever. Like, he's never had time with this unit. Like, he's never had time with this team. Like, this is him getting his feet wet in the NFL. That's a problem. Look, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, he's a backup, and he did backup types of things. We've seen so many backups come in and play decently, or at least at a, at a good level. Multiple teams. Bengals. Right? Browns. Right? I'm just saying, like, there's been a plethora of teams that have had backup quarterbacks having to come in for – a numerous, uh, numerous of games, and they've played nicely. They played very well. They've played with competence. This man was playing like, bro. Why am I out here? It's cold. It's wet. Lamar, how did you do this to me? And I'm sitting there like, bro. This can't be. This, this is horrible. This is, this is dry. Now, if y'all did not watch the game, you don't know what I'm saying. Just to let y'all know, the Steelers beat the Ravens 17 to 10. Okay, Mason Rudolph was 18 of 20. That's right. I'm reading that to you. 18 of 20. That means he had two incompletions in a rainstorm for 152 yards and a touchdown. Najee Harris had 26 carried for 112 yards and a touchdown. Deontay Johnson had four receptions for 89 yards and a touchdown. And what did our listen? Listen, listen. I want. I want. I want to tell you this. Right. Our run game barely got to 100 uh, barely got to 100 yards. Gus Edwards had 10 carries for 48 yards, 4.8 yards a carry, no touchdowns. Tyler Huntley had 8 carries for 40 yards, 5 yards a carry, no touchdowns. M Gordon had 7 carries for 18 yards, 2.6 yards a carry, no touchdowns. Edwards had a fumble, Gordon had a fumble. I, didn't Huntley have a fumble too? I can't even remember. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was just one of those games where you're looking at it, and I'm like, bro, this is terrible. Terrible watching of a game. There was a time, uh, for most of the game, um, Huntley had like 58 passing yards. Huntley finished the game with 146 passing yards, 15 of 28. And I watched the game. They were missing. He was straight missing wide, missing high. Missing low. And he got real jittery in the pocket. Like, there was no pocket awareness. It was like, huh, 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 huh. Like, that's how he was acting. Even when they perfectly blocked it up. Like, he was acting like he had happy feet. Y'all remember that happy feet when the little penguin that could dance? He was like, ah, ah, ah. Dancing around, stuff like that. That's how he was acting in the pocket. So this does not surprise me at all. Am I mad? No. We got the one seed. It is what it is. But I did want to at least beat the Steelers and not have them sweep us for the season. It does bother me that they swept us this season when they shouldn't have. Because think about it. The first game was all for Lamar's teammates letting him down. How many drops? How many drops? And they were looking around like, oh, my bad, man. My bad, man. Right? How many bad offensive play, uh, offensive line play in that game? Think about it. The offensive line and wide receivers let us down in the first game. Now the backup quarterback... <laughs> And, and the elements, of course, came to doom us in the second. So, look, like I said before, it is what it is. This wasn't going to hurt us or help us or anything else like that. But I don't want to hear nobody say anything about Lamar ever again. Because I remember vividly Raven fans saying, hey, well, Huntley's a better passer. There were, there were media people that were saying Huntley throws the ball better than Lamar. Media people. Media. Media. That, oh. Let Lamar graduate. Huntley has a better arm. He's more accurate. Man, do y'all look foolish. Matter of fact, black no. hand side. Because y'all deserve that. Because y'all really, I mean, imagine, imagine saying that. 
So when Raven fans watch this and be like, why do I act the way I act? Just remember, this team wanted to go full. The fan base, a large portion of the fan base, including some of the fan base's media, wanted to go full throttle with Tyler Huntley under center. Tyler Huntley! Snoop! Snoop Dogg and Dogg. That's what they wanted to go with. Do you see why I'm the way I am now? Huh? Jesus. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Yo, and Richard Sherman said, hey, it's not Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Hey, a lot of that, that, that backup could probably come in and win a, and make it to the playoffs with this team. Yeah. I, <laughs> with all the injuries, with the bad old line play and everything else. He could do that, right? But what do you guys think? Do you feel like that game was a waste of time? Do you feel like, hey, that proves the point that this offense isn't what it is without Lamar? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please, because watching that game, it absolutely, to me, solidified his MVP case. It solidified why the Ravens gave him his big contract, and it solidified him being the leader of this team. Because with him, top two, top three team. Without him, woof. Yikes! It is not good. But as always, this is an episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Yeah, now how we get down, we have fun, and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the one that can show the Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with the cause and everything, bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign. The Warner Can Show. Super easy. Once again, this is the Warner Can Show. This is your host, Necker, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yep. Yeah.